Okay, today is September 3rd, 2019, and right now at 10 p.m. we have a temperature of 78 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 51%, the dew point is 58 degrees, and the barometer is reading 29.91, or about 1,018 millibar. All right, so today in Southern California we had... Uh, some natural clouds. We had some cumulonimbus development over the mountains, which uh, we'll show here in a couple of seconds on the uh, on the Doppler map. Uh, there was some precipitation up in the High Sierra near uh, the Mammoth Mountain area and in, in the uh, area of uh, Yosemite. Um, and uh, but most of the thunderheads around our area were being uh, targeted and superheated, and so that. Uh, disrupts the lift and of course that prevents the precipitation process and it prevents the thunderstorm activity so that's what we saw here in southern california today uh, right now we're looking at the uh, national hurricane center map for the east coast we have dorian which is now uh, crawling to the north north uh, west at uh, six miles per hour now this storm just absolutely decimated this uh, northernmost island in the uh, bahamas and I saw a video today, um, and there's not much left of those uh, islands, particularly the one where that Iowa was just parked right in place. It is a pretty much total devastation down there. And there's probably more to the reason why that was uh, stalled right over that area. Interesting that we have this storm pop up uh, with a technology that we have to superheat and destroy these storms like we saw with Aaron and many, many other documented uh, storms in, these, uh, in this video series on this channel. So we have a storm over here, uh, Fernand, which is a tropical storm with 50 mile per hour winds. This was allowed to pop up, and of course, there was then a reason to pop high pressure in place, stall this, and then stall the uh, system from the north while all that moisture was up here, moving slowly up the, up the northeast uh, coast. So there's just a lot of things, a lot of things going on. Uh, this could have been superheated. This, of course, could have been superheated four days ago. And we see over here we've got another tropical depression right off the coast of uh, Africa. This has uh, got sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. We have uh, pressure of 1,006 millibar, and this is moving uh, northwest at 8 miles per hour. But this is the system right here that we're keeping an eye on, Hurricane Dorian. Pressure is now 959 millibar, moving like I say, north northwest at six. So this thing was stalled for many hours uh, yesterday and through the early morning hours, and now it's uh, moving up to the uh, north north uh, west. All right, so let's look at the first map here. This is the uh, long wave infrared, and uh, we can see some interesting detail uh, right here on the west side of the storm. Just some very odd evaporation patterns, right? along here you see almost a flat look at this look at this strange evaporation pattern florida is very flat there's not any mountainous areas so there's no reason for uh, what we're seeing here these bands should be extending all the way uniformly all the way around that uh, system and notice the blast pattern right here in the very beginning right there in the green Very, very odd evaporation pattern. So this system, there, there is transmitters probably on the ground level working to evaporate all this moisture that's moving in into the mainland there of Florida. Let's look next at the, uh, this is the visible light map. We can't see a whole lot here. We can see a couple of uh, concentric rings right there where these uh, thunderstorms are being targeted. Right there, see that ring? That's uh, what we're talking about. There's a couple other rings here, one there, one here, one there. I hope you can see that. Looks like uh, it's coming through on the video. Okay, let's look next at the, uh, this is the water vapor map, and we can see some very interesting detail here as well. It's 
see a flat spot right there. And notice the blast pattern right, uh, hang on here, right here, this area right here, we see a tremendous uh, blast pattern, that icicle pattern right there. And then we see the eye wall open up. Looks to me like this area was targeted. Also, we see a hole open up in the bands as this uh, spins around. So the superheating process causes the water vapor, the atmospheric water vapor in this system, wherever they target it, to rapidly expand. And that's what's causing this uh, icicle pattern right here along the northwestern uh, edge. And of course we have a lot of high pressure because all this, look at here, all this moves clockwise. So we've got high pressure drier air right here on the uh, western side of this storm which is preventing it from moving over the state of Florida. Once again we can see that here in the, uh, the long wave infrared map. You can see some very odd evaporation patterns occurring right here. See that blast pattern? This, is, this storm is being targeted. There's no question about that. This uh, system could have been superheated and, and destroyed just like we saw with Tropical Storm Aaron right up here just about four or five days ago. So when people argue on the uh, in the comments section that we don't know what we're talking about and weather can't be controlled and all this sort of nonsense, uh, just just look up all the patents that are uh, in the uh, filed with the U.S. Patent Office on techniques and methods to modify weather. All right, so here's one of the Doppler maps. This was uh, taken earlier today, showing the eye wall just uh, east of the Palm Bay area, and uh, this is slowly creeping up the coast. This was, these were taken uh, several hours ago, around uh, 4 p.m. today. We see some severe weather thunderstorms right here. Here's a close-up of uh, the Palm Bay area, Coca, and uh, Vero Beach down here. Now here is the most recent, uh, I think that's the most recent one, yes. We see it's moved up slightly from Palm Bay. It's moving just a few miles per hour to the north, uh, northwest. Uh, and we see some fairly severe thunderstorms right over the Palm Coast, Daytona Beach area. Now to the west coast, today we had a lot of uh, thunderheads in the skies over Southern California. And it looks like a lot of that uh, rain was falling up further north, as we see here from this Doppler image. This is the Mammoth Lakes area. Uh, a lot of uh, Yosemite Valley, and uh, we have the 395 that runs up through Bishop. This is a great drive, by the way, if you've never been uh, up to 395, you should take that route sometime from Los Angeles. You see a lot of volcanic activity driving up through the backside of the uh, uh, the High Sierra. There's just tons of volcanic rock all all through that whole area. That's a must see if you're interested in geology and just driving out in in a area where it's just wide open space and beautiful tall mountains. Uh, take the 395. This goes all the way up, all the way up the uh, state. So today there was uh, some precipitation. We can see that here. As we get further south, there wasn't much. We'll take a look here uh, next at the Southern California area. We have the uh, San Gabriel Mountains right here. We've got the Mojave Desert, and we have Big Bear Lake. And we could see all these thunderheads from the Pasadena area. And same with uh, out here over the uh, just south of La Quinta and Palm Springs. A lot of thunderheads out here. Uh, but we're uh, reading comments that they were all being targeted. And that's not a good thing. They're, they're, weather controllers are preventing the uh, thunderstorm activity by superheating these uh, clouds, these rising columns of air. That prevents the precipitation process. 
So here's the area where uh, San Gabriel Valley, we have San Fernando Valley. Down here is the uh, Inland Empire. We've got Lake Arrowhead, Big Bear Lake all out here, and then we have the Mojave Desert. Edwards Air Force Base is right, right about here. All right, now here's a shot I took uh, from earlier today as well. This just shows the pattern. We have a monsoonal flow pattern into Southern California, and that's why it's been very muggy with a dew point of around 62 degrees. And we should be having a thunderstorm from this uh, flow pattern. Here's that tropical storm uh, right over here. This is uh, Fernand, and that's uh, what we're seeing over here on this uh, map. Uh, right here. So that's Fernand. And we have uh, Juliet, I believe it is. Let's take a look at Juliet right down here off of the Mexican coast. Let's take a look at that right now. So we've got Hurricane, uh, I believe it's Juliet right here. This formed yesterday. And uh, this storm has 120 mile per hour winds, which is a solid category three storm so that's a fairly powerful storm and this is moving to the west northwest at seven miles per hour and the uh, cone track for that storm is basically out to the west by the end of the week all right so uh, that's the update we're going to keep a close eye on uh, dorian uh, we just don't know what what uh, what's going to happen next uh, to keep a close eye on it because of the fact that at any time this storm could could change direction we saw it's completely stalled in place over the bahamas and that place is uh, the bahamas is, is a mess okay that's it for now we'll try to get another another update uh, here real soon that's it